So come the 1970s, we see Linda's genre and themes in her photography shift slightly to her family life, her home life, and to nature. And there's a number of reasons for this, one being every artist's work evolves, every artist's work changes over time, and Linda's no exception. And also she talks about how she became a little bit disillusioned with being a commissioned photographer, how she had got into photography in the 60s for the fun and the passion of taking photographs but she talks about how in kind of 1969 she was doing a shoot in Hampstead Heath with Crosby, Stills and Nash and how she suddenly just realised that she didn't enjoy it in the same way and she found that energy and that passion again when she was photographing her family at home. And what we see in Linda's photography is that it's brought her photographic eye for uh, unique situations, spontaneous moments, for um, great compositions and strong use of natural light to the family home. And we see this in this beautiful portrait of her husband Paul with their daughter Mary kind of buried in his jacket. She talks how she took this after a horse ride um, in Scotland in the kind of evening golden hour light. And we really see that Linda just had such a skill for seeing a moment that should be photographed. And we also see this in a great photograph of Paul, Stella and James in Scotland. We have James jumping from a Land Rover, but yet she has caught his foot flat in the air as if he is walking through the air. We see Stella engrossed and picking daisies or something on the grass with Paul kind of walking over a rickety fence. And you just, there's so much in every area of the photograph. She had a great eye for composing scenes with her eye and for getting the shot she wanted and then carrying on with her day. She wasn't trying to search for photographs. She wasn't trying to manipulate scenes and we really see that in images such as this photograph in Scotland.